Hello and welcome to part 3 of my multi-site search tutorial. In the last part, um, we finished coding the second function, or started and finished, and then we started on to our index page where we checked to see if the post data had been submit. Um, the rest of this page really is not that much PHP. Um, the first thing that we need to do is make the URL. So we're going to have URL is equal to make URL, the function we defined. And if you remember, the two parameters that it took were the site name and the search term. And so right now our site name is in uh, the post variable site and our search term is in the post variable search. So our first input will be post site and our next one will be post search. Um, so that makes the URL. Now, what we actually want to do is check to see if this is false. So we could have done this line in a ternary operator or um, an if statement on this line, but I felt like separating it. So yeah, don't worry if you don't know what those are, but if you're sitting there wondering why I've separated it, it's just to make the code flow a little bit nicer and then it's defined separately and doesn't look so hideous. So we're going to check to see if the URL is equal to false. Um, if you remember, the URL will equal false if it's empty or if it is not one of the proper sites. If it's empty, it just means they have not entered a proper search term. If it's not one of the sites, it means they're screwing with our server or our form. So, if it's that, we're just going to er, add to the errors array. Um, and we're going to add a message just saying, please enter a valid search term. If they are entering an invalid site, if they're changing our select options, then they know that they're doing something incorrect and that's why they're getting rejected. Otherwise, the only other reason it should return false is if it's an invalid search term and this way um, we prevent against that. So there's our first uh, check. Um, so that's if it equals false. If it does not equal false, so else, we're going to have our display set. So display is equal to display URL, as you may have guessed, and then, um, sorry, did not mean to tab those across. There's no use for it. Um, there we go. The display URL, and again, if you remember, the display URL takes the URL and the type. So our URL currently stored in our URL variable. So we're going to enter URL, and then um, the type is in the post type, and, and that line. Now, again, this will return um, false only if they've been messing with the type. So we're going to check to see if... Um, display is equal to false and if it is onto the errors array we're just going to add um, we could not create the URL display because this should never appear to any average user um, it would only appear to those trying to do something malicious to your site um, However, that's all our error checking that we need to do. The rest of it is actually done within the code, and so yeah, so what we have is if they're set, we're going to make the URL, and if it's false, we're going to give them an error. If it's not false, we're going to display the URL, um, and if that's false, we're going to give another error. If not, we're going to move down to this PHP code block that I have right here, which is just in my body tags. To properly validate our HTML. So here is all of our logic 
and now we're about to start our content output. The first thing we need to check is to see if um, the errors array is empty because if it is that means that no errors have occurred on the page. If it's not then um, that means that errors have occurred and we have to show them to the user and not display their URL. So we're going to do this with the empty function. So um, it's going to look if empty errors is equal to false. So in other words, if their um, errors array is not empty, then we're going to want to display the errors. Um, and we're going to do this using an implode method on the array. So uh, first end the block of code and we're going to have an Oh, unordered list tag and a closing unordered list tag followed by a list tag and a closing list tag and then right in here we're going to open up another block of PHP and there and we're going to echo out implode on um, the gluing of closing list tag opening list tag and we're going to implode errors now I will have a video up at some point on implode explode, but basically what implode does is it takes an array and it joins all the array keys with whatever you provide it. So for instance, let's say that they had error 1 as the first key and error 2 as the second key. These are two separate array values and what um, implode would do is join the two values so that they look like this. Um, and so as you can see, the list is started. So if there's a third one, it would be joined. This one would have ended, and then this one have started, and there'd be error three. So it makes them all into list items, but the first one lacks a starting point, so we have to put that in, and the second one, or in the last one, lacks an ending point, so we have to put that in. Um, so I hope that makes sense. It just sticks the arrays pieces together using whatever you provide it. Um, and the reason you do this is because loops make the page run much slower, and so um, it's just a good way, a good habit to get into is to avoid loops where you can, and this is one of the ways that you can. So if it's um, if there are errors, we're going to echo them out in the list. If there are not errors, we want to echo um, and then in a div and in a paragraph tag, we want to echo the um, display. However, I actually just forgot a check in here, but that's okay, I'll put that in a sec. Um, after we just test to make sure that all this code is working. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna see if the errors array is false, or errors. If there are no errors, if there aren't, we're gonna echo them out. Or if there are, we're gonna echo them out. If there's not, we're gonna echo out the display. So let's come back here, let's refresh this page. Uh, unexpected variable on line three. See, oh, forgot to include on this line, or the semicolon on that line. Um, okay, let's refresh, see if we get any more. Undefined variable display on line 35. What did I define the variable as? If is set. Oh, okay, it's because I haven't actually submitted the form and that's that's what I was going to say there was the check that I forgot to do so um, that error won't be displayed when I actually finish the code but we can test to see if it's working so we're gonna enter in sloth scripts once more and we'll enter it into a new window just so see if we can the URL to your search is we click this 
and it provides us that link in the new window um, and we can search on this site sloth scripts it should search and uh, provides us with our insight but the one problem comes when we go to search value on the their site in the current tab if we search you see we just get this link outputted so what we need to do is check to see if it is meant to be um, sent to a new page and if it is we need to header them there so this is how we're going to do it first in this else block we're going to check to see if is set URL and display that means that there are no errors because uh, it's in the else block of the errors check and that it has been set because or and then the form head the form has been submitted as URL and display are only defined if the form is submitted so um, if these things have been set we're gonna put the block here and then the next check we need to do is to see if they are equal so we're gonna say if URL is equal to display the reason for this is because um, if you remember the display URL function returns the URL exactly as it was assuming that um, you want to header and so um, assuming that they will be exactly the same and in this case we can use the PHP header function and we will be headering to location um, and the location will be display or URL other or they're the same location obviously and then after that you want to exit or die and that will stop the rest of the page from executing otherwise we're going to echo out the display and that should work now we'll um, try it so we'll refresh resend uh, okay let's try another search see if this does work hello on their site current tab search and we just get this output which means that the display does not equal the URL um, let's see why display um, here going to go in here remove this line and see if that's what's causing the problem um, let's refresh there go back to this page Google on their site current tab yeah okay so that HTML entities on in this function I remember why I discluded it it's because you would actually have to um, do it on this page if you were going to and you'd have to do it to both the URL and the display as it makes the display not equal the URL I apologize for that but again every error that I make is good for you guys to see how you can go through your code and error check but as you can see now we actually have a fully functioning um, script going the only last thing that um, we're gonna do and I'm gonna throw in quickly is that after you make a search you can see that the search for box has returned to empty it would be nice for the value to stay in there and so what we're gonna go to do is go to the input where you input your search and in the value call or attribute we're gonna open up a PHP block we're then gonna say if is set dollar underscore post search scroll across so you guys can see this um, so if the search has been set um, then we're just going to echo the search otherwise we're not going to do anything so that's saying that if this is set the search term set um, it will echo it out into the area so we can retry this we'll refresh and we're going to search for Facebook on Google in a new window search and you should see that Facebook remains in here um, 
doesn't matter if we change it, we can just easily change what we're searching for then without having to retype our search term. And so, yeah, that's all the code, but I just ran over on video time, so thanks for watching.